Hey Carter, so check this out um, before you go buy in the big version. Play with this first. Blank project, add instrument track, uh, drums, going to throw in the SE, the light version. Be up momentarily. It's been raining for three days straight here, so these dogs are getting real antsy. Okay, I'm going to right click on the single agent slot, hit load kit with patterns, and just like we looked at before, I'm going to use the library column in the search results to uh, get what I want. Sounds blind for song. Um, you see a lot of these have, have beat agent in them, but let's grab something that has the acoustic agent studio kit library. And uh, I, I think like, <laughs> like a pony is a perfect choice. I'm going to double click that. Let that load itself up. And voila. You have a drum kit with all of the kind of cool visual editing capabilities there. Uh, so again, we've got the pattern side of the house, and here's the complexity intensity pad. The instrument side, and this looks... All the stuff in that uh, Groove Agent 4 video applies to this. It works the same way. The only thing you're really missing here is you're limited to one slot instead of up to four. And look at that. The mixer's even advanced in this version. That's cool. The other thing you're missing is there's no uh, percussion agent. Well, and the, the two other drum sets, the vintage and the rock kit, aren't here, and the, all the hand percussion stuff. So I, I think it's worth Groove Agent 4 is awesome. You should probably go get that eventually, but not necessary immediately because you can still do the workflow that we were talking about uh, with this. So I'm going to switch back to the pattern side of the house, and then I want to show you uh, just one uh, one possible way to work with this thing. Let's say that we like um, the, this main pattern one. We'll call that our chorus. By the way, you can right-click on this and rename the pad chorus. And let's say that this one, main three, we like that for our verse. So just to keep our mind our, in the right place, we'll go... Well, that might be a stretch, but to keep straight which pad is which, we'll call this verse. Uh, now, see, we've got C, in the upper right hand corner here it says C0 for chorus. So, one thing we could just start the click and play the notes as it went along to sort of outline our song there. But check this out. If we um, click this button, the edit and place button, uh, oh, we don't have anything up there yet. Let me, let me create a. We either have to start recording or take the pencil tool and, and create a, an area up there. Then, if you. Uh, if you click the edit and place uh, option, you'll by you you can go in and draw the notes right here without having to open a second window. So let's say let's see G sharp one is our intro. We like that, so we come into the first octave. We come up to uh, G sharp there. That should be our oh sorry G sharp minus one. My bad. And, I'm going to drag it along. As I'm dragging this thing, watch the white pop-up box. So we know we're looking for G sharp minus one. There it is. So that's our intro. And then the chorus is going to be C0. And a faster way to work with tools, just right-click down here, and you get the toolbar floating next to your mouse, and you can just grab whichever one you want. So let's say we then want to go to bunch of those. I'm going to hit copy and paste. Oops. Take that duration and I'll go uh, duplicate it. We wanted what for the verse? C sharp. So come up one. So that's an intro verse chorus. I'll select those two and hit command uh, D to duplicate it. So there's verse chorus, verse chorus. I want to throw a fill or a F sharp zero. Sure, why not? That'll make that for our break. Drag him out a ways. Um, and then the big the big ending here, B, where is he? B minus one. So there we go. That's we're 
we're doing instead of working with whole pad, you just all you need is the trigger notes, and you can draw those in. You can even quantize with all kinds of stuff there. But that's just um, just so we've got a basic song structure there now. And we could go back and drop in fills and stuff. But what I wanted to get to here was uh, now if you open the automation lane and we select the complexity option which could be a challenge because there's a huge list of stuff here. So let's do this. Let's go back, turn on right enable, and move complexity intensity just a little bit. All Just nudging it brought those to Cubase's uh, mind. So now see they're sitting there right on top. So we go um, to complexity. Really, is that still going to attach just to that pattern? No, it's working on the whole thing. Sorry. So I'm going to take my pencil tool, just draw some complexity changes throughout the place. And I can uh, unfold this and go with uh, intensity and just make some subtle intensity changes throughout. And now we should have a much more fluid drum part. So, anyway, a couple of different ways to work. Some neat stuff that's in there. Very excited, dogs. See you soon.